Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing extremely well. So in this video, we are going to solve problem of the day on the Geeks for Geeks platform. So today's problem is permutation with spaces. So as usual, first of all, we'll be understanding the problem statement, then the logic part and then we'll be proceeding to the coding part right but before proceeding further to the video if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed my channel till now then guys please do consider subscribing my channel it will really motivate me to create more such content for you and i'm sure the channel will be helpful for you so do subscribe and make sure to join our telegram community as well the link for the telegram channel is given in the description itself so make sure to join so let's get started with the problem statement now so the problem says Given a string, you need to print all possible strings that can be made by placing spaces 0 or 1 in between them. So for a given string, we have to place spaces between them and we have to determine, we have to print all possible strings that can be formed. So the output should be printed in sorted increasing order of strings. So let's understand the same with the help of an example. So here you can see we are having a string ABC. Now in the output, we are getting what? all the possible combinations that we can get by placing spaces between the characters in the string right so here you can see a space b space c a space b c a b space c and a b c right so here they have given the explanation part as well so these are the possible combination of a b c let's have a look on the second example so here we are having a b just only so for that we have a space b a b okay so whatever task is uh, we have to complete the function permutation which takes the string s as input parameter and returns the sorted array of the string denoting the different permutation don't add okay so they have mentioned that it will be handled by the driver code only the time complexity they have already uh, mentioned here that they're expecting and auxiliary space as well okay so now by reading this question itself you must have got the idea like how we are going to solve this problem so here we have to take the decisions what kind of decisions first of all see first of all try to understand here we have to keep the spaces between this like you cannot put the spaces at the leftmost side or at the rightmost side we have to place in between these characters of the string right so that's what that's what one thing is and now we have to keep the like take the decision for example a b so between a and b we need a space or not so if you will put a space so we will get this string a space bc then we are saying okay i don't want a space between a b right then we are saying okay put a space between b and c so what we will get a b space c and if i'm saying no i won't put any space between b and c as well so i'll be getting this a b c right if i am saying let's put a space between b and c so this will be formed a space b space c like this is how you must be understanding we have to take the decisions either to keep the space or not right so how we can solve this problem obviously by recursion okay so we'll be using that same approach here and that's what we are going to do that's what how we are going to solve this problem so let's move to the logic part that's what the approach is going to be So let's say this is the string we are having ABC, right? ABC. Now it's clearly specified we have to take the decision of placing the spaces in between the characters of the string that we do have. It means we cannot take spaces here and here. This won't be considered, right? It means this first character of the string that we have to keep as it is, okay? We don't have to take any decision for that part. So what we'll be doing, okay, so in the in the string like where we are going to generate the possible permutations we are going to consider this like this is already there in the string so we have to take the decisions for these two values now okay so for these two values we have to take the decision so let's say what happened um we are maintaining a string let's call it as uh, value and in value we have already inserted this a and now we have to do the recursion on for this particular string right for this particular because this we don't have to deal so let's call it as input so here we do have this pc so for that we have to take the decision right so now for b first of all for b for b the choice is what for b the choice is let's a is already there a is already there for b either we have to take the space or we don't have to take the space so if you are not going to take the space if you're going to take the space here so we'll be having what a b and if you're not going to take this space so what we'll be having here what we'll be having here 
ए बी राइट हेयर ए स्पेस बी एंड हेयर ए बी ओनली ओके नाउ वॉट डू वी हैव दिस सी पार्ट सो लेट मी राइट हेयर दिस सी पार्ट सी C we have, so we have to take the decision for this C now. For this C now, now same thing for C as well. Either to take the space or not. Here also either to take the space or not. So if we are taking the space, so we will be having A space B space C. If we are not taking the space, so here we will be having A space B C. Okay. Here also if you are taking the space, so we will be having what A B space C. If you are not taking the space, so what will be having A B C. right abc and that's what we are getting right that's what we are getting in the output even right just now we saw okay so that's what we have to do we have to take the decisions whether to take the space or not to take the space okay and this is how we will be solving our problem so i hope you must have got the idea like what actually we are expected to do so let's move to the code part now that how to approach this problem in the implementation part so here you can see this is uh, what we are doing here so sb string we are having now i already told that let's see if we are having the string a b c we don't have to consider for the spaces part for this a a would be there as it is because at the leftmost side at the rightmost side we don't have to do anything right so a would be as it is so what we are doing is in our string sb we are adding the character at the zeroth index that is nothing but a so in sp what is the value we do have right now capital a okay now we have so now capital a part is fixed now we don't have to do anything for this so what we have to um, deal with now bc only bc only so that's what we are doing the here as per sub string 1 okay bc only we have to deal so the recursion part what we going to do here we are going to write this in our helper function so here is the helper function to which what we are doing is to which what we are doing is we are passing this sb this is string right uh, and this capital s right capital s has been updated to bc now and this sb is containing a so we are passing this to helper function right so helper function you can see it is accepting two a string arguments well as well as input now so when we are doing the recursion at some time we have to stop right we have to stop when we have to stop when the length of the input input as of now what is the length bc right so when it becomes zero right we don't have any more characters to execute to explore to check on right so uh, that's what we are checking that if input dot length is equal equal to 0 so what we are going to do is we are simply going to do we are simply going to add the value that we have got now you can see when we were doing we were uh, making the recursive tree at the leaf part at the leaf part we were having the the outputs the permutation thing so what we are doing this result result is what this array list that we have to return right we have to return the array list so this is here we have declared result so we can access this uh, access this uh, here as well in this function as well so what we are doing when input dot length become to zero so we are adding that value that we have got that leaf node that we have got to the result okay and we are simply returning okay uh, here what we are doing is so let's understand this part uh, like what we are trying to do we were having bc right we were having bc so we have to take the decision for b now b now so between a or b either put a space or not put put a space so what we are doing is we are extracting that character that is at the zeroth index so what is there at the zeroth index right now b so b will be stored in c1 now what we are doing is we are calling our helper function again right we have to do the recursion again and now what the value we are having now we are providing the value here first of all considering the space so well is what well is what capital e well was capital e so capital e space space b we are passing and now see now we have took the decision for b as well so we are passing we are doing what input dot sub string 1 it means c only c only is pending that we have to deal with right another call is there when we are not considering the space in between well and c1 so what we are passing here we are passing ab without any space so well is a and c1 is what b so ab comma input dot sub string c right so that's what we are doing here and like you must have got the idea right how we are doing the implementation this is what it is it is the same thing that we discussed right now uh, in the logic part right so i hope that you must have understood it so this is the whole code for the logic that we discussed right now i have provided the code in the description for the reference purpose thank you so much for watching this video guys i hope that you must have understood thank you everyone